welcome back to the papers mom here here i am coming at you with a layout from my january ckc kit i created a layout the other day using these three sheets these three pieces of paper they're actually all scraps this um blue polka dot is, blue and white polka dot is actually the other side of the stripe and the layout that I created the other day using those papers is this one. Um, just a sweet picture of my granddaughter with her mom. The photo was taken in 2016. I'm actually scrapbooking 2015, but this photo was on my desk. And rather than trying to put it up and remember that I had it already printed, I just went ahead and scrapbooked it. So now I'm just going to try to use up the rest of these pages, that papers. That's my goal this month, is to try to use all of my scraps as I go, if I can. So I thought that I would come on here and I wanted to kind of create a summer type layout with this. I have all of 2015 printed. This photo was taken in um, June of 2015. This family spent a weekend with us um, because my oldest daughter was graduating from high school. I am a homeschool mom and we attended the great big homeschool convention in Richmond, Virginia and participated in their large graduation ceremony. And so this family as well as several other of my friends from Georgia came and watched Courtney graduate from high school and so we took um, all of the kids to the river just down the road from our house to play it was a wonderful free thing to do while everybody was there and the kids had a blast um, these we lived in Georgia like I said before and we had gone to the ocean with them multiple times and so it was kind of fun to go to a different body of water and not have to worry about jellyfish because this little guy got stung by a jellyfish the last time we went to the ocean with them and that wasn't fun so I am going to I think do some stenciling with this Vicki Booten stencil um, it's from her Sweet Rush collection. I need to pick out some inks real fast and um, I'll be back. So now I've picked out the inks that I'm going to use to stencil these waves onto my white background paper. I've chosen three Distress Oxide inks. I'm just going to randomly put them on the stencil. I'm not going to try to to get the entire stencil covered, I'm just gonna get a little bit of coverage and then I'm gonna squirt some water at the end, but you're gonna see me just kind of go through each color and use my brushes to get some ink onto the stencil. I'm not worried about it moving too much or I would have taped it down. Um, I kind of wish I had just because I was getting kind of annoyed that it kept moving, but it really wasn't that big of a deal because it's not meant to be a perfect stenciling project. It's just meant to put some additional color onto the layout. Now that I've gotten the stenciling done to my satisfaction, I'm gonna squirt just a little bit of water onto the D Distress Oxide, and then I'm gonna use my paper roll towel, my paper towel roll, to roll across the background to get up the excess water. And then I'm just gonna start building this layout. I had already adhered the three layers of torn pattern pieces of paper together before I started and now I'm just going to start putting some things on there. I had initially thought I might go ahead and mat that photo in some pink 
cardstock, but I decided not to because it was already pretty busy with the three pattern papers behind it and the photo ends up standing out pretty well since I surround it with my embellishments and title and journaling. Sorry about that little bit of dead space. I was actually removing some washi from the washi roll that I just laid back down so that I could put those two pieces down on that lower right hand corner. I don't usually use washi tape with words on it, but I like this one because it's got word phrase or phrases that that I can actually put on a layout. I'm also going to add some chipboard phrases from my counterfeit kit and I definitely am going to use that ticket that I put on the lower left hand corner of my photo because it says summer fun on it and that's been in several of my counterfeit kits and it just it needs to be used y'all I gotta use it so my goal was to get it onto a layout and it does make it onto this layout I'm gonna add some it's they're supposed to be little vellum stickers they are various forms of stitching. This one to me just looks like doodling rather than stitching, but I use up two of them and run them down the left hand side of my layout. One of the other things that I added to my counterfeit kit this month were those chipboard speech bubble um, stickers that I put on there and I'm really wanting to get those used up. I've had them in my stash for a little bit and they're really cute and I just I have found that I've had a hard time using them so I managed to get one on this layout and now I'm going to dig through these title these ephemera title pieces and try to find a title that works for me. I believe I go with Happy Sunshine and I put it up on foam tape eventually. I think I do that part off camera. But I really just wanted to get some of these chipboard pieces used and this layout needed to be happy and fun. We've been having a lot of rain and just some dreary weather and I enjoyed using some bright colors to create this layout. So now I'm digging around in that ephemera again to see if I can find some other bits and pieces to put on this layout. I have a lot of ephemera from Hip Kit Club in my January kit and I just I really need to start using my hip kits better and so I pulled so many things from my hip kit my hip kit club kits. I have at least a year's worth. They're not all unused is in fact many of them are partially used so i once i got all of the bits and pieces on the layout where i wanted them to go i went i took it off camera and i adhered everything down with either liquid glue or i used some fun foam or pop dots to pop up things where i wanted them to go i'm going to go ahead and add some splatters to this page i tried this heidi swap ink spray but it was dried out and so it didn't put very much on the layout so I ended up just throwing that bottle away and I had pulled out two inks I had also pulled out a, a darker blue I believe this is a Mr. Huey's blue that I have they I have quite a few of the Mr. Huey's they're really old they're by Studio Calico they're some of my favorites and they've lasted forever because many of them I've had for about 10 years. So I wanna thank you for stopping by my channel today. Here is a close-up of my layout. There will be some even um, more close-ups of the various embellishment clusters. If you liked my video, click the thumbs up button. And if you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks, bye.